Hi, look at this clear iris picture with a set of glasses. That's a pretty cool thing to collect for yourself. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi. And welcome to Hawaiian Shirt Papa, tour of the Crossroads Antique Mall in Brantford. This is part three and it's the last part. There's a lot to still see. There was a lot to see already in the first two parts. We've got some interesting statuary, some telephones that look like a phone, uh, a football. Uh, somebody's uh, album that went uh, had a lot of sales there interesting that they're selling it off in this kind of a place but uh, perhaps somebody passed away and the family didn't want it or he had no family or she had no family in any case uh, there's all kinds of speculation possible let's not get into that too much but there's uh, all kinds of interesting items in this part of the store this this third of the store it's approximately a third some of this is uh you'll be seeing some still photos at near the end of this one of some interesting items that i was communicating with westwood avenue because i was here without anyone else with me so here we are we've got a whole slew of well this one's got cups and saucers uh, old toys, some of them not really all that old, but they're vintage already. Clocks, and we haven't seen too many clocks in any of the videos so far. And some are in lock cabinets, obviously they're slightly higher value, they'll get you somebody. Oh yes, the, I remember these as a youngster, these steam engines that you some of them you put together, some of them they came fully assembled and it would run with some sort of pellet that you would uh, heat up the water to make the steam. And here we are, we've got some other collectible items here. And some real interesting items look like a something that looked like a, a stylized uh african african uh, statue and the, some of the glass cases there are some really uh less commonly found petroliana items there Some older railway signs, uh, large copper cauldron, a children's uh, stroller. I don't know if it's a for a doll or for an actual child. I don't remember the size of it offhand, but it looked pretty high. Looked a pre like mid Victorian era, and this. There's a booth with all kinds of collectible toys and cards and other collectible materials here. So uh, lots to see, lots to see. Old electronics, tube type radios I suspect in some cases. Others are uh, transistorized at least, if not other semiconductors. Some of those are reproductions, not necessarily originals, but they sure look good. I'm not going to get into trying to decide if they're 
authentic or not, there's a good chance they are. So we got copper uh, lampshade there, some sort of, ooh, some Inuit looking art, and some mid-century modern or uh, ceramic pots, teapots. Really, really interesting design. I, I personally like mid-century, but Getting unique items is not so simple. There's quite a few of them around, so uh, or were, so some people just add ah, or just toss it. In some cases, it was a bad design and it just broke on everybody. I was looking for the uh, made in occupied Japan, or I was looking for particular uh, China manufacturers interesting device there I think it was made for canning rolling the rim so it'll uh, seal it that was a painted hand painted saw blade with the handle still attached some uh, steamer trunks they were an okay price nothing I could do with uh, on a resale market but that's okay Somebody's looking for some. Oh, 105. Well, maybe a bit on the higher end of the retail. Any case, they are interesting pieces. Some people look to use them for a coffee table. And you can use the interior for some storage of some sort too. And then we get into some of the other collectibles. So you've got uh, tin trays, you've got some clocks, some snowshoes. Ah, here's that uh, picture with the glasses. I thought it was pretty good, pretty good price. Uh, Westwood already has a few of these, so she didn't have any interest in obtaining yet another one. She also has not, the, the glasses that probably would be more appropriate for it. Those were really petite glasses, which some people may want to use them that way. And uh, here we go. We are going through a whole nother section here. A bit of a view of the central courtyard that we saw in the first part. And then we have LPs of all sorts, along with other collectibles. Yeah, it was somebody's billboard. Gold, gold record kind of thing. And then uh, we've got all this other stuff. You never know what you're going to find. Stained glass. Light fixtures. Some of them are older than others. They, they were making new ones for a long time. And uh, here we go. We're getting into some wild sound systems there. Some... Ah, globe. And then you got this, oh, a bunch of china cup and saucers on top there. Wow. Here we are. We Some of the higher valued LPs. They've been locked up. And here we go. Some clocks. Oh, a black cat clock. I haven't seen one in a while. Interesting little statue there. And some dream catchers. So it looks like some African. There was a mid-century fan. They're quite dangerous to little ones and any adult as well because they can chop your finger. And the motor's too strong to stop because it hit your finger. And uh, uh, some woodworking tools. Some uh, summer, summertime water skiing gear and row, oars for uh, rowing. Some uh, cool collector cars there. Yes, they've got some other stuff here that. Uh, 
clocks. Signs. Oh yes, the sign. This one, I always had enjoyed that one. Self-serve laundry. Drop it off. And wash it. <laughs> then you got the uh, Coca-Cola group here. There's that statue again. There's a lot of things to see. I th oh, here we are. We're actually right by the cache at this point. So we're getting closer to the end to see some of the ones that I took stills of. There was um, some interesting glassware in here. Some of it's clear, some of it's colored, some of it's statuary. These are some toy collectors. They might want to be flagged on this one. They had quite a bit of collection there. In a lot of different places. Possibly even some vintage uh, fishing, fishing gear. So here we are. We've got ah, a classic toboggan. Personally, I think it's uncurled a bit because the chains or ropes have broken off, but uh, it still works like that. If you wanted to curl it up, it'd be a bit of a chore. It would take some time to do the steaming, but it will do it. It's not necessary though. So here we are. Some artwork on the wall. Some interesting cabinetry. Some oh yes. Looks like a looks like a boomerang, but it's not. It looks more like a I don't know what to say then for that one. So Looked like a boomerang, but it wasn't a boomerang. I'm sure somebody knows exactly what it is. Ah, some signage. Vintage, uh, I remember these in the 50s, 60s. A piece of interesting uh, hanging sculpture. It can be a light as well, I think, inside. Yeah, it's a reproduction, and it's, and it's at $400 for that. That's quite a bit, but hey, you don't find them. Now, it's not so simple to make some of those. Yeah, it looks like it's just uh, some of these uh, Inuit-looking pieces. This is a cool uh, bird. Like a crow, I think. No, nope, no, Oreo. It's an Oreo. Baltimore Oreo, I think some people call them, but I know them as Oreos for sure. Someone's got a combination of a, looks like a Inuit uh, soapstone, but I think it's probably cast ceramic dough. So some of the, some of the stuff is newer. Oh, it's a hockey jersey. It's embroidered. And that uh, iris pitcher with glasses. Some of the artwork that's hanging up. A uh, very old looking uh, chest. All wood. And either you're into the toy or you're into the old radio. One or the other. There's an MCM dresser under it. Now this is a uh, purportedly a tapio virkala uh, vase. Could I thought it was an okay, but I can't I can't find any info for. Westwood Avenue, she was kept looking for it too. This is quite a collection. They've marked it down. Another piece of uh, art glass. Apparently it was, some of these were signed as well. So there, there's some interesting stuff here. 
These are in the glass cabinet, so I couldn't handle them. Uh, I didn't need to for my purposes. Here's another one from... Looks like somebody has a f collection of Finnish and Scandinavian stuff. Here's some uh, aluminum sculpture. Looks like it's one of those uh, Mexicans. Yes, a Mexican folk art pig. Some old military Anna. Now this is this is a really interesting uh, toy car. I don't think it was really intended for the average Joe ever. It was one of the higher end ones, so they would be more expensive to buy in the first place. City bus line bus. It's a tin tin toy. There's another tin toy. CPGA. I'm not sure if what exactly that intent it means, but these were all marked CPGA. Perhaps it's the seller's name. I'm not sure. Here's another view of the Greyhound Sky, well, Greyhound bus in any case, tin, tin plate. And one of the vacuum pots. I really enjoyed watching those when I was young. Just how they fill the top and empty the top. So, some soapstone looking carvings. It may not be soapstone. Um, ah, yes, these are. Labrador soapstone. Okay, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed that and you'll give us a like and a, a subscription and maybe even a dingle of the bell so you get notified. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye bye.